Hello and welcome to the Motor Machines channel. Today's video is back in the shed with a beginner's guide to pit bike chain maintenance. This will include lubrication, alignment and tension, so stick around. You know, your chain is a vital component. It needs to be kept in good condition, which is clean, oiled up, the correct tension, aligned properly for your pit bike to be in healthy condition. An uncared for chain such as dry, dirty, loose or too tight is likely to cause problems. The chain can come off and if you're lucky, You'll just waste time putting it back on. Worst case scenario is it coming off and wrapping around your ankle or leg or something. Another thing that can happen is when the chain comes off, it'll wrap around this cog and then smash this case in and maybe damage the stator. Yeah, that happened to me. I, one day I was a little bit lazy, didn't want to tighten my chain, saw it was loose, decided to go out, it came off and wrapped round there, smashed my casing and the stator and I had no bike for about a week. Will affect the performance as well. How much? I'm unsure. You could also damage your swing arm. So it's important this maintenance is done regularly. Tight spots can occur resulting in momentum loss. I'm assuming that everyone keeps their chain clean. If you do, there's just three steps I follow. Align, tension and lubricate. If you follow those three simple rules, you will have a healthy set of sprockets and chain on your pit bike, which is in tip top condition and ready to rip. Firstly, then we'll take a look at our chain. That is clearly too loose. It can come off the back so easy that so we're going to sort that out that's the aim of this video today all i really need for this job then is the 19 and the 17 mil spanner for the axle bolt the 10 mil for the adjustment and alignment bolt And then the 12 mil for the locking nut. The owner's manual is usually really helpful, but it's the same in every pit bike manual I've ever owned. So to me, that is garbage. However, I am going to point this out. The manual tells you you should have 2.5 inches of play. Now, in every pit bike I've owned, the manual says exactly the same. They can't all be the same. Now, what I'm, I like 45 to 50 mil, and that's just going from my experience. This is also really a handy tool for doing your chain. You can get it so accurate. This is why I use it, and it makes the job a lot quicker. But you don't need it. It's just something I like to use. So we've established the chain needs adjusting. Let's... Loosen off this rear axle bolt. Next, loosen this off. It's a good idea to keep these maintained as well. Spray a bit of oil on there every now and again. It makes this so much easier. Let's give it a bit of gap. And we'll repeat this on the other side. We've loosened off the rear axle bolt and now we've broke the threads. We're ready to loosen this main bolt off with the 10 mil, which will push this spacer back if you watch.
You can see the chain slightly getting tighter. Go around to the other side. That is too tight. I'm going to start using these now just so I can get accurate on each side because you can't always trust these dashes. I know they're not accurate on each side, so I'm accurate. When you're doing the chain tension, you should really, I think, it, you, they say you should check in the middle. I always do, check about here. That feels good to me. Now we found our starting point, we can just tighten this up, finger tight. We can fine tune it in a minute. Tighten up the rear axle. As I do this, I'm just going to put some pressure on the back wheel to make sure it's tight against the adjustment part. Forty six mil. Close enough. On both sides, just give it a bit of a tighten this one, keeping this one still. So we've aligned it either side, we've got the correct tension we've tightened up the axle bolt and we've tightened up the locking nut i think we're ready to go all we got to do now is drop the bike off the stand sit on it and check that it doesn't go too tight when the suspension compresses sometimes when you sit on your bike the, sus the suspension will tighten the chain up you have to be aware of that if it does you're just going to have to undo everything and take a little bit more off here hardly anything from my experience on pit bikes that is exactly how i want it that that is how i run my pit bike you know a bit more than two fingers perfect um this is still the original chain so i'm obviously doing something right so we've done the alignment, we've done the tension, now we've got to move on to the lubrication. If I've got no time, I'll use something like this. This is my preferred choice. It's the best thing for lubricating your chain. It's not too sticky, but it's sticky enough to stay on your chain. It doesn't collect all the dirt. It doesn't just flick off onto your back wheel and it keeps the rust away because that's all really what chain lubrication is doing is keeping the rust away they're these o-ring chains so they're self they've got the lubrication in there all this does really is keeping your chain looking smart and rust free that's all any chain oil will do you can get ripped off with it but this is the best thing trust me I would say that's a well-maintained chain myself. Ready to rip. 
And thank you for watching if you got this far. That was a quick pit bike chain maintenance guide or the one that I follow and it's proven for me to be, well, worthy. Remember, respect your pit bike and it will respect you. A well-maintained pit bike is a healthy pit bike. Thanks for watching. Moto Machines, out. Oh, and another thing, respect your tools. Always put them away where they belong.